All right, hello all, how are you? So it is time to talk about the next area of our lesson, which will be, catch a peek, the United Kingdom. So with this, um, this is gonna be a little different. You guys are gonna be like, what are you doing, Mr. Null? Well. This is going to be your, yes, this is my kitchen. This is going to be your lecture for this lesson. I'm not going to stand up and give you the lesson like I normally do. This is all going to be student-led for the fourth quarter. You're going to take control of your learning. So it is really highly suggestible that you get a paper and a pen out and take some notes. This is going to be self-paced by you. What that means is that you can pause this any time to catch up. So those people in the back who be like, stop, stop, don't go. This is for you. Making sure, like, if you do well on notes, it's great. If not, you know, there is a final coming up, too. So we got to make sure that we're all good to go for that as well. So let's make sure we're all tip-top and the 90% rule still is in play. And uh, let's get rolling. Okay. The United Kingdom. So this is the Union Jack. That's number one. That's the Union Jack. Okay, that's what the flag is called. Please know what that is because I'm going to refer to it a lot. So, Union Jack. So, this is the map of the United Kingdom. It's not just England, Wales, Northern Ireland, and Scotland. Okay. So, located on the continent of Europe, capital city of the United Kingdom is London. So, let's make sure you remember that too. London. Let's get this pointer going. Yay! London. Region capitals are Edinburgh, Scotland, Cardiff, Wales, Belfast, and Northern Ireland. The United Kingdom is made up of Great Britain, England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. So all basically all of this is Great Britain in a nutshell. I want to make sure you know where it is and what is involved in it, okay? What it entails. We go on. Click. Okay. Population. 63 million. 395, 574. Okay, I've said this one I spelled out for you. Um, if you remember from Russia, Russia was like 140 something, 150 something. So obviously much, much smaller. Current population of the United States is 310 million. So even 310 million versus 63, we dwarf, um, we dwarf, or they dwarf us, or excuse me, we dwarf them tremendously. More than 80% of the population of the United Kingdom do live in England, okay? Geography. You look at the pictures, the rolling green hills. If you've seen anything from Scotland or Ireland, this is very picturesque of, the, of what you see when you think about the United Kingdom. It's about the same size as New Zealand or the state of Oregon. The state of Oregon is in the United States, people. So it's not that big, okay? Many different landforms and landscapes, including marshes, bogs, mountains, rolling hills, and a, let's get that off there. There we go. A lot of greenery. Basically, a lot of green. Okay, you can see the stone inlay and everything else, but there is a lot of green when you talk about this stuff. Next. Climate. Lots of rain. Um, Miss Kepner's been to the United Kingdom. I've been to the United Kingdom. It rains a lot. Very cloudy. Uh, temperatures can be get cold in the mountains. Um, but rather other, because you see the snow-capped mountains here. Other than that, it's pretty mild, comfortable. Um, nothing like Russia and Siberia when it's like super cold or super warm. Okay. Landmarks. So the landmarks you guys do need to know. So we have Big Ben. Actually, let me see if I can move my little picture over here. Uh, there we go. So, Big Ben, Tower of London, Buckingham Palace, St. Paul's Cathedral, and this little thing is called Stonehenge. Now, Stonehenge has been known to um, be home to alien sightings. Um, people say that Stonehenge was actually um, put down in a certain rock formation. It's a rock formation, basically, but it was said to have been put down to draw... Uh, like a signal to alien life or other worlds, things of that nature. Okay, so 
I know you guys will get kicked out of this. The official language of the United Kingdom is English. Yay! It's English, people. Who would have thunk it? So, Welsh, Irish Gaelic, Scottish, and Scots. So, these are other common languages you will find in the United Kingdom, obviously with being Wales, Northern Ireland, Scotland in between as well. Okay, clothing. I know you guys love this stuff. So, who's going to rock this stuff? I know some of you guys will be like, yes, me first. So, you can see very traditional clothing. Uh, the dresses, the, the kilts. Um, it is very, um, I hate to say it, but there are many companies that sell kilts like this and people buy it. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's different. It's different. Let's just say that you'll never catch me in one of those only on a really good dare. Um, other than that, no, but it is very traditional in the Scottish way of life. Um, if you've seen the movie Braveheart, uh, you'll see those type of clothing as well. Okay, currency of the United Kingdom is the British pound. That is what this looks like. You see the Queen on their money. And if you've ever done any type of um, buying things from England or Europe, you'll see this symbol. That is their symbol for the pound, for their money. Okay. Okay, schooling. It's kind of the same. However, there's a couple different... Oop, I'm too far. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Previous, previous, there we go. So you begin going around four or five, but you wear uniforms, okay? And there are some schools out here that do this, but the school year is split into three sessions or terms. We, some schools out here do that. They're called trimesters. You guys are on semesters. We only have two semesters, but some schools have trimesters. Um, three sessions, September to Christmas, January to Easter, and Easter to July, which means their spring or their summer vacation is um, mid July to mid September. So, you know, I think it's for the Labor Day part of it. I don't know specifically. We can dive into that later, but that's what my thought process is. All right, life. It's like the United States. Um, kids go to school, do their homework, help around the house, spend time with their family and friends. Um, playing sports, computer games, music, going on vacations. It's really not that much different from life here. Um, so, I mean, there's there's historical places just like there's historical places here. Um, so it's it's really kind of the same thing unless you're, you know, if you've spent time there, you're going to be like, oh, that's kind of normal. People come, to, come here and look at the skyscrapers and like, oh, my God. Kind of normal for us because we've been around Chicago, we've been around Rockford, things of that nature. Okay, sports. Most popular sport in the UK is soccer, which is called football. Uh, rugby, golf, tennis, and cricket, similar to baseball. This is cricket. I will show you guys a video towards the end of the week about what cricket is. Um, other activities, swimming. Darts is huge in England. Squash, which is this. It's like tennis with a, a heavier um, birdie, like in badminton, you know, where they hit the birdie. It's very heavy. I think it's either like a heavier ball. Snooker is a billiards game. Snooker, like it is basically people play pool, but snooker is the table with the white pegs and the red ball. And you have to, I've never played it. I've, I've been shown it once and I've never, <laughs> I've never taken the time. So to give you an idea, foods, beef and Yorkshire pudding. That's what it looks like. Fish and chips, always great. Steak and kidney pie. Mince ground meat and teddies. And then bear birth and cow. Um, what are you doing, bud? Okay. Sorry, I'm being interrupted by my child. Go away, child. Oh, I know, I know. My child is interrupting. Hold on. Go away. Go away. All right, bye-bye. Good night. Being a parent. So, these are the common foods. Um, if you look at it and you go, ew. Um, but that's what they eat. Just like people might look at us and be like, you know, 
why do you eat that or why do you eat this? I mean, it's basically different cultures that we've learned throughout the time we've been studying stuff. Um, holidays. New Year's Eve is called Hogmanay in Scotland. Guy Fawkes Day is November 5th. Fireworks night or bonfire night. Interesting facts. Names for London include London, Londonium, Ludwinic, and Ludenburg. Official language of the United Kingdom was French one time for about 300 years. First ever hot chocolate shop was in London. There's more tea consumed in England than any other part of the world. Yeah, think about that. It's, um, you know, they have tea time. Like tea time and they take it and mm, we're going to have tea and cucumber sandwiches, you know. Um, so tea is, is very highly consumed. First city in the world to have an underground subway system. Uh, Buckingham Palace has its own police station. Uh, the subway system is called the London Underground or the Tube. So what are you taking? I'm taking the Tube. So that is it for my thing on London. So other than that, please make sure to go back if you need to and uh, capture all the notes for what you need. This is a little bit of a shorter time. I want to do the geography and the outline parts first, and then we're going to get into um, some historical aspects of England. Um, I just have to put that together, but I wanted to at least get like the geography part out of the way. Um, please make sure you take detailed notes on this stuff. Um, on Friday, you're going to have a quiz. It's going to be detailed. It's not going to be multiple choice. It's not going to be true, false, or matching. Okay. And there's no notes. Please read your notes. Please take them. Okay. I'm just letting you know right now. Have a good day, y'all.